Hi guys! So, please just ignore my hair. If you have been following me, you know that I am doing the no poo journey. And today is just, ugh, a hair, a, just like a terrible, terrible hair day. I don't even, I don't even know what to say about it. Anyways, I have some items that I am loving this past month. And I figured I'm going to stop doing monthly favorites because, let's be honest, I just don't shop that much. I don't get that many new things. So I'm going to call it the cur my current loves. And I have a lot of them, so I'm going to jump like right into it right away. So the first thing is my first ever like higher-end makeup purchase, which I know it's sad and I, I can't even believe it myself, but I'm really, really excited. I have wanted this since the day it came out, which I think was like two or three years ago. I don't know. Um, the original. But the, anyways, this. The Naked 2 palette. I finally got one of the Naked palettes. I went with the Naked 2 just because I did a lot of, you know, reading and a lot of looking at blogs. And um, basically, you know, the one that I want was confirmed by Makeup by Tiffany D because she just laid it all out. She did swatches. And I just figured this was more what I wanted. So I'm really, really, really loving the Naked 2 palette. And with that, I ended up getting the NYX or NYX Jumbo Eye Pencils. I had heard about these on YouTube for years and years and years. Um, the Milk one, I heard so much about that in fact, when I did a giveaway probably a year ago, I purchased this to give away. So I've been using these as bases and I am obsessed. Like they are making the color on my eyes pop. They are making makeup so much more manageable and I I am loving these. Also right now, I'm not sure when this video will be going up, but Ulta is having an amazing sale right now. These were like 40% off, so I ended up paying like $2.50 for them, which is just crazy in itself. My favorite, favorite, favorite foundation that I've ever tried so far and that I am loving this month is the L'Oreal True Match Lumi. I did a first impression on this on my channel, and I liked it in the first impression, but I kind of commented how I felt like it didn't have a lot of lasting power, and I still say that to be true. It is not the longest lasting foundation, so if you are going to be like wearing it all day long, I might recommend another foundation. But for a special event, I think this is perfect. I think it's perfect for when you're going to be photographed or filmed on camera. Um, it's the most natural foundation I've ever worn. Like, it looks so natural. My husband, who hates foundation, is not even bugged by this. Like, he, he told me that I look natural, my skin looks natural, and he likes it. So I'm loving that one. On to the next makeup item is the Sun Bronze NYC bronzing powder. I was looking for a new bronzer because the one I have is a bit orange and I watched um, Tati's Grand, Grand, Glam Life Guru's video and she had mentioned how this was one of her favorite products under like $10 or $5 or something like that I think. And I am really enjoying this. I got like a lighter one because I have really pale skin but if I purchase another one I think I will purchase the next shade up because it does come off kind of orange on my skin, which is bizarre because it's not orange at all. But I think I want to try a darker shade for my contour, but I do really like this. I'm liking it a lot. And then sticking with the face and cheek theme, this L'Oreal Visible Lift um, Color Lift Blush. I think these were like the bouncy ones. Or, no, I don't think so. That's a different brand. Um, when I first bought this, I was not a fan. I... <laughs> I'm saying that about so many products now, oopsie, um, but this one, I don't know, I just, it's grown on me. I didn't like it before because I thought that it looked too unnatural even when I used only a little bit, but I guess now that I've been working with it more and playing with it a lot more, I have been able to make it natural looking and I am really liking this product. Next, let's move on to some lip products. I have mentioned probably one of these in the past, but... It's still, you know, this is my current loves. This is what I'm loving right now, regardless of if I mention it in the past or not. I am loving these Revlon um, Super Lustrous Lipstick. I am currently wearing Pearl in 40, 470. It's not the most flattering color for my skin tone. It's not, you know, the best lipstick I've ever worn. But I do like to layer this over a red lip liner, and it gives a really unique color. And it has been, like, my go-to just because it's fall and I like, you know, the darker tone. 
I am still obsessed with, and you, I think I wore this in like a last, my last video or something like that, but the, um, the Vivid, Maybelline Vivid, and this is 865 Fuchsia Flash. This is my favorite lipstick that I own right now. It is crazy obnoxiously bright, but I am obsessed beyond belief. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. And then this is the, let's see, what, I don't even know. Moisture Renew Lipstick in Crystal Mauve. I don't even know what brand this is. I think this is like a, like the Kate Moss color, I think. Oh, yeah, Rimmel London. Okay. Um, this is, yeah, again, 420 in Moisture Renew Crystal Mauve. And, again, this is another color that I am wearing a lot for fall because it just dark. It reminds me of fall. And I'm loving, I'm loving those three lipsticks above every other lip product in my makeup pantry. And then I guess one last kind of beauty-ish item. Um, I received this from a coupon from Bath and Body Works, or is it, yeah, Bath and Body Works. And I got a free um, perfume sample. And I have it on right now. This is a really, really nice, I think it's a nice fall scent because it's not it's like kind of dark but it's not too dark it's like if I'm moving into winter I'm gonna wear more of an in I'm sorry my cat is climbing on my light and distracting me completely but um I don't know winter makes me feel of like more deeper a deeper sense but this is like the perfect blend it's for fall it's a perfect fall scent because it's not too fruity and sweet like you think summer would be and it's not too like mysterious and dark like a winter scent it is perfectly in the middle. It's got just the tiniest bit of a sweet scent, and I am loving it. The next two items are really random, and they're going to go hand-in-hand, hand, kind of. But keep your mind out of the gutter, okay? Listen. Coconut oil, first of all. I have been using coconut oil for my hair. I have been using it for just my skin. I've been using it for everything. But here's where these go hand-in-hand. Hand. My current self-development that I'm reading is The Five Love Languages, The Secret to Love That Lasts by Gary Chapman. This is a best-selling book. I'm sure everyone has heard about it. Um, the reason this is considered personal development for my business is because when your relationships are imbalanced, you're more imbalanced and you're able to be a better person and be better for other people. And so right now I'm working on my marriage. And I mean, I'm in a perfectly happy marriage. We're good. Everything's good. Um, but I just want to, you know, I want to always improve and always be better and always, you know, just reaffirm my love for my husband and show him that. And so this has really been making me stop and think about my marriage and just putting things back into perspective because my poor husband, he is probably the thing, the person, the thing, whatever, that gets put the most on the back burner because if I'm not busy being a mom, that I am busy doing housework or doing work or responding back to messages and comments and so he typically is the person who gets in the background so lately I have been trying to really emphasize like being with him and just laying next to him and talking to him and having meaningful meaningful conversations you know asking things like what are three things that you did today like how did that affect your day how did you feel about it and with that I have been using the coconut oil to give him back massages every single night because he has a really bad back because of the Marine Corps. Um, he has like pinched nerves, he has slip disc, he has bulging disc, so he has a lot going on in that area. So um, every night I give him a massage with coconut oil and it has been the best thing I've ever used for massages. I have used oils on him, I have used lotions and Coconut oil by far goes the longest and allows you to give the best massage, in my opinion. And then this is the personal development that I have mentioned in the past videos many, many times and I just finished reading not too long ago. And this is Personality Plus by Florence Lidier, 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 I don't know how to say her name, but this book, everybody needs to stop what you're doing right now, go online and purchase this book. This is the key to understanding people in your life, to knowing why they think the way they think, why they argue the way they argue, why they're so sensitive or so aggressive. This has changed the way I look at people, like hands down has been the best book I have read thus far for my business. It has helped me 
to understand my children better, to understand their needs and their wants and how I can approach them. It has led me to understand my husband better and how I can approach him to keep peace during, you know, maybe more tumultuous times, during arguments and stuff like that. This book is everything, everything. I can't even say enough good things about it. So Florence, thumbs up because you have made my favorite book of all time or you have written my favorite book of all time. Okay, the next items I have written down to remember, um, these are things that aren't really related to anything else. They're just kind of random. So my first TV show right now, my favorite TV show right now is Revenge. I'm, ugh. Okay, it is fall. All of my favorite TV shows are coming back. Scandal is back. Parenthood is back. Vampire Diaries is coming back. Grey's Anatomy, like so many shows. My heart is so happy even though I don't really sit down to watch them ever. But I started watching Revenge last week when I was looking for a show, waiting for my shows to come back on, and I am hooked. Like, I am so hooked. I'm only on season two, like episode six, so please don't spoil alert any anything in the season or in the show, but I am obsessed. I started watching it, actually, because I thought it was that show that, um, oh, what's her name? Sarah Michelle Gellar was in. Uh, but it wasn't, so I ended up falling in love with it even more because I didn't know this cast. Like, I had whole new characters to get to learn about, and I didn't, you know, think in my head, oh, they were in this show, and this show, and this show, and it just, I love it. The next one is still my camera that I'm recording on my camera.